welcome back to five art fun facts. Today we're going to talk about one of my favorite subjects, art law. Fun fact number one belongs to artist Jeff Koons. You may be familiar with him because last year his sculpture Rabbit set the record as the most expensive work of art by a living artist. But today we're going to talk about something different. In 1992, Koons was sued by photographer Art Rogers for copyright infringement. What happened was that Rogers had taken a photograph that he titled Puppies that he reproduced as a note card. Koons saw this and decided to model it as a sculpture. When Rogers found out, he sued Koons for copyright infringement and he actually won. The court decided in his favor and so Koons had to return all the money he had gained from the sculpture. This is also a stepstone for photography as an art medium. Fun fact number two belongs to Anish Kapoor. The artist holds the rights to what's allegedly the world's blackest black, titled Vanta Black. In response, fellow artist Stuart Semple decided to create the world's pinkest pink, and it's available for sale to everybody except for Anish Kapoor. Fun fact number three belongs to American artist Donald John. This is a very interesting case because Jod sold a series of artworks to Italian collector Giuseppe Panza before they existed. And you must be thinking, how is it possible for someone to sell something that does not exist? The answer is quite simple. What he actually sold Giuseppe Panza was a certificate of ownership. There he laid out the rules of how the sculpture had to be done and specified that it must be built by the Bernstein brothers who were the craftsmen that always built John sculptures. Later, Panza decided to authorize a gallery in LA to build the sculptures for an exhibition. When John found out, he said that this was not authorized and that these were not authentic John sculptures because Panza was in breach of contract by not hiring the Bernstein brothers. Fun fact number four belongs to Soloit. Soloit has a series of wall drawings, but of course you don't buy a wall. You buy a certificate of authorization that lays out the instructions of how it has to be made. Unlike a Donald Jod certificate, a Louis certificate can be executed by anybody. For this reason, the artist has made a distinction between an authentic Soloit and an authorized Soloit. An authentic Soloit would be, per se, you decided to follow the instructions of a solo certificate you found online and paint it in your wall at your place. That would actually be an authentic solo because you followed the instructions. But it's not an authorized solo read. In order for it to be an authorized solo read, you actually have to own the certificate. Therefore, you can sell it. Also, I don't want to make this any longer, so I won't get into details of the case, but there was a collector who lost his certificate and sued the dealer who had sold it to him. And then because of this, insurance companies actually started to insure art certificates. Fun fact number five is that the state of New York has the most strict art law in the country. It's a statutory law, but what does this mean in plain English? It basically means that if you want to write a contract or find a way around it not to follow the law, you will never find it because it will always apply to you. It also states that the gallerist is the fiduciary to the artist, not a transactional partner, then they're not equals. And the gallerist has a separate list of duties to follow. That was all for today. I really hope you enjoyed my five art law fun facts. And if you have any ideas or questions, just comment below.